neurofilament light chain, often abbreviated as NFL in scientific literature, which are essential proteins that form the structural framework of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. When there is damage to the central nervous system, these proteins can be released and their levels can be measured in bodily fluids like serum and cerebrospinal fluid. In human medicine, measuring neurofilament light chain has become a valuable technique for both diagnosing various neurological conditions and monitoring how well treatments are working. Scientists in veterinary medicine have also been exploring the potential of this biomarker in animals. Previous research has looked at neurofilament light chain in aging dogs with and without cognitive decline, as well as in dogs diagnosed with a condition known as meningoencephalitis of unknown origin. Interestingly, in dogs with meningoencephalitis of unknown origin, the levels of neurofilament light chain were already so high due to the underlying brain disease that it was difficult to see if seizures themselves caused any additional increase. Neurofilament light chain has also been found to be elevated in dogs suffering from neurodegenerative diseases, such as cognitive dysfunction. Currently, diagnosing idiopathic epilepsy, which is epilepsy with no identifiable underlying structural cause, in dogs relies on a process of elimination. Veterinarians follow a set of criteria, starting with a normal neurological examination and standard blood work, and sometimes requiring more advanced tests like bile acid measurements, magnetic resonance imaging of the brain, cerebrospinal fluid analysis, and electroencephalography. However, these advanced tests can be expensive, not always readily available, and often require general anesthesia, which carries its own risks. Furthermore, accurately tracking how often a dog has seizures can be challenging because owners aren't always present to witness them, and owner reports often underestimate the actual frequency compared to what electroencephalography recordings reveal. It's also not always easy to distinguish between idiopathic epilepsy and structural epilepsy, where seizures are caused by a physical abnormality in the brain, based solely on a dog's history and a clinical examination. This is because dogs with structural epilepsy caused by various diseases can have normal neurological exams between seizures, and their first seizure might occur at an age typically seen in idiopathic epilepsy. The researchers concluded that their study provides initial evidence that serum neurofilament light chain concentration has potential as a valuable biomarker for diagnosing epilepsy in dogs, particularly in helping to distinguish between idiopathic and structural causes.